Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, just welcome in general. Today we're gonna test three more cars from this update. Three awesome cars that I grew up loving. The Dinka RT3000, the Karen Calico GTF, and the Anis ZR350. As always, we test acceleration first, and we're gonna pit the two rear wheel drive sports cars against each other. The RT3000 on the left, and the ZR350 on the right. I always wanna say ZR380. We're going to an eighth mile first, who's gonna get there? It looks like the ZR350 has an advantage so far, and it does. Now, can the RT3000 catch up at the quarter mile marker? It's got power, it can't quite get there, but it is closing the gap. We're gonna go all the way to the half mile because we wanna see if that thing can close the gap here. It's looking like it might be able to. As it gets to the half mile, they're very even. So the RT3000 initial acceleration, it's not there against the ZR350, which we already saw. But as you'll see here in a, a couple of seconds, once we get down to that one mile marker, it actually starts to pull away. So its acceleration after that half mile marker is a little bit better. And that will factor into the speed score at the end. But now the winner of that race is going to go up against the Calico GTF. And I've heard a lot of rumors about this thing that it's pretty quick in a drag race. So we're going to see exactly how fast it is. And right off the line, the Calico just, it grips really well. And uh, you can see, it just demolishes the RT3000 to the eighth mile line. It's not even close. What about quarter mile? Yeah, it's not even really a race at this point. That Calico GTF is so fast in a straight line, it's insane. But the RT3000 came back before the end of the track against our ZR350. Can it do it? I don't know. I think it's got a bit of a gap to overcome, but we're gonna see. Fun fact, when stance, the Karen Calico is actually one of the fastest cars in the game in a straight line. I found that out accidentally and had to retest all these cars. It's not quite the fastest car in the game when it's not stance, but it's still really quick. 6.6 .6 second eighth mile in this game is absolutely insane, and it just pulls all the way through the end. You got the ZR350 in second, and the RT3000 comes in in last place, even though it did catch the ZR350 there at the end. Speed's important, right? So the next part of the speed score equation has to do with top speed, or really average speed over the course of a custom speedway that you see here. We're gonna drive all three cars. I'm not gonna make you sit through all the cars driving in a circle. We're just gonna show all three cars on the track, on their hot lap. So you'll be able to at least see some of the lap. But this is one of the areas where I'm thinking that the RT3000 might be able to make a bit of a comeback. It's a little quicker after the half mile, which means that it probably has a higher speed. So what we wanna see here is maybe the ZR350 and the RT3000 close the gap to the GTF a little bit, or at least that's what I wanna see. Now that they're all across the line, let's take a look at where they rank. The Calico GTF just continues to dominate. A 129.5 is crazy. Stance is as fast as the Emirates. The RT3000, though, not terrible. And the ZR380, fairly respectable also. I'm guessing, though, that these two cars are going to be the fastest on a technical circuit. They're rear-wheel drive sports cars. I love rear-wheel drive sports cars in this game. So let's see how they do. Let's see how the ZR350 on the left and the RT3 3,000, not 5,000, handle the corners. And they actually don't do terrible. They do behave very differently though. You'll see here, they are just neck and neck going up to that first gantry. Both of these cars handle pretty well. The RT3000 feels a lot faster than it is and normally that means that a car understeers a little bit. And you can see that it does go a little wider out of some of the corners. The ZR350, I like the handling a lot, but right there you saw it lost a little bit of traction. It tends to oversteer. So while they're looking pretty even, the RT3000 does have an advantage to that reverse start finish line. So now this part right here is pretty difficult. And this is where the ZR350 might be able to make up some time, being that it oversteers rather than understeers. It can take that corner a little tighter. It is a little faster, quarter mile. Can it catch the RT3000 though? Nope, the answer is no. So the RT3000 now has the mammoth task of taking down the Calico GTX. Can it hang with the acceleration and top speed monster? I think it can and I'm hoping it can. You can see though, the Calico GTX is fast in a straight line but it does understeer and I hate understeer 
Even though it understeers, it gets to that first gantry faster, but that understeer is not gonna work in its favor when we come up to these last couple of sections. The extra rotation that you get in the RT3000 will help. Will it help enough though? It's not looking like it. That GTX, it's gonna go wider in this corner. You'll see where the other car oversteers a little bit. The Calico GTX definitely understeers, but it's definitely faster to that reverse start finish line as well. The power just might be way too much to overcome. With that being said, it is not my favorite car to drive because of that understeer. It makes it a lot harder to corner. I wouldn't think the Calico is gonna be your best bet at their test track because it is very technical like my test track, but you see that gap, you can't deny it. The last place car on the circuit, the NSZ R350, pretty disappointing. The RT300 comes up behind it, both over a minute though, which isn't great. The Calico GTF almost hits 58 seconds, which is really fast. So we know the GTF is the fastest car. There's no questioning that, but which car is gonna come in second? This is, I mean, all of it was kind of a surprise to me. I expected the ZR350 to be faster, but is it gonna be the 350 or the Dinka RT3000? The 350 comes in last. I mean, you're lying if you say you expected that. With an 84.6 speed score, that's not great. RT3000 is above it, and of course, our winner, the Calico GTF in this round. A speed score of over 90 is really, really good, and the acceleration and top speed on the Calico GTF, there's no denying it. It's a really great car, probably for free mode if you wanna do some drag racing. Uh, that's a very fast eighth mile time, so you'll be happy with the Calico GTF. Quarter mile is actually not that fast, but the eighth mile is really solid. The RT3000 is a really fun car to drive. I would pick that over the ZR350, which is disappointing because I was really looking forward to having an RX-7 in the game. The Calico GTF is up there with the Paragon R and some really good second tier sports cars as far as speed score goes. The RT3000 is up there with the Issy Sport and the second place car from my first video, so go check that out if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bottom right corner, I try to make it easy for you. Thanks for joining. I hope to see you next time.